It's been called the mold that saved millions. In 1928, a Scotsman by the name of Fleming, who was a scientist working in London, decided to take a two-week holiday. And he didn't clean up his lab very well. And when he came back two weeks later, he discovered that one of the Petri dishes in which he was working on a flu epidemic had some mold growing along the edge. It was a fungus that is known to grow on bread, penicillium it was called. And he noticed that the penicillium had actually fought back and destroyed some of the bacteria. And so the first natural antibiotic was discovered. Antibiotic simply meaning something that kills the bacteria. He was recorded as saying, one sometimes finds what one is not looking for. When I woke up just after dawn on September 28, 1928, I certainly didn't plan to revolutionize all medicine by discovering the world's first antibiotic, but I guess that was exactly what I did. And uh, this amazing story of Alexander Fleming is a little reminder of something, isn't it? You know, there's a line from the WAG that if a cluttered desk is the evidence of a cluttered mind, what is an empty desk the sign of? That's a line that we who like messy desks <laughs> use often. But I, I often think of this, and the scripture says in Proverbs 14, verse 4, where no oxen are, the crib is clean but much increase is by the strength of the ox. In other words, if you're going to do work, sometimes things get messy. And before they get better, sometimes they seem to get worse. And sometimes in life, things get messy. There are problems, there are struggles, there are difficulties. It's not always easy, is it? And we have to recognize that if work is going to get done, sometimes the crib is not always going to remain clean. So when we think about this story, and here a man who uh, was chided by his friends because he wasn't very tidy, he said, I don't want to throw anything away that I can still learn from. And while we're not excusing being lazy or sloppy, sometimes in life, things don't always turn out neat and even. You remember the story of the seven disciples that went fishing after the resurrection of Christ. Peter said, I go a fishing. And the seven fishermen, five of them mentioned, two uh, not by name, they go out and spend all night and catch nothing. But then when the Lord appeared in the morning and said, cast the net on the right side, and what do you know, they caught 153 fish. Well, whatever you say about 153, it's not evenly divisible by seven. And so when we're working with other people, things rarely come out even. Maybe some get more of the credit down here than others will. Maybe some end up with the dirtier work. Some have to work longer than others. We don't know exactly how it's all going to play out. But the fact is that if we're going to do the work of God, sometimes things don't come out even. Sometimes things get messy. But if we're going to be involved in the work of God, we have to be ready to face up to that. And the proverb says that if you want everything neat and tidy, everything spick and span, don't work with kids. Don't work with casts off. Don't work in situations where anything could go wrong, right? And so people will say, you know, I, I, I didn't hurt anybody in my life. I didn't make any enemies. Well, I mean, a chair can say more than that. A chair actually helps and does something positive. If we're going to be involved in the work of God, there are times when we're going to fail. There are times when accidents, so-called, are going to happen. But sometimes, out of that seeming accident, as in the case with Fleming, a wonder drug was discovered. And they estimate that Thousands upon thousands of lives were saved during World War II alone. 
because of the use of penicillin. It's the most widely used antibiotic to this day. And untold millions have had their lives saved through the use of penicillin. Sometimes when we go out to share the gospel, we stumble around and we don't say quite the right thing. And, but somehow God uses it anyway to push back the enemy, as it were, to destroy the, the infection, to destroy the, the difficulties and problems of life. Sometimes it gets messy. But God help us to realize that even when we say the wrong thing or do the wrong thing, unintentionally, we don't mean to, sometimes that's the very thing that God uses. And we can, we can rest in God. We can know that if we're working with him, he has this wonderful way of compensating. So some people are afraid to do anything because they're afraid something might go wrong. We live in a messy world. And if we're going to serve the Lord, sometimes things happen. God help us to be humble, to be gracious, to be quick to apologize, but at the same time, to move forward in the cause of Christ. And if sometimes something happens that maybe isn't the best, we realize that even when things happen that are not the best, somehow God turns them to good. And in the end, we can trust him to do that. So may we learn the lesson that, that God has called us to, as it were, use the strength of the ox. He has given us resources to accomplish his purposes. And sometimes oxen, um, you know, mess up the stall. And there are things that have to be cleaned up in the process. But we can't afford not to use the ox. We can't afford not to use the resources we have in order to see God's work accomplished. So if you see a fellow believer and in the process of doing work, somebody's been offended or something's been left messy, relax. And remember this verse, where no oxen are, the crib is clean, but much increase is by the strength of the oxen.